All right, guys. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and try this here. Doing a pro mission. See if we can get her done. Let's get this all figured out here. All righty. Let's go. So, I've gotten really close <clears throat> to doing this. I had to go out of town this weekend. And I almost did it right before I went out of town. I got, oh shit, I got all the way to the trench run. Oh, for Christ's sake. Bad. So I tried this over the weekend. Before I left, I just went out of town. And I got all the way to the freaking trench run, dude. But I didn't have enough lives because I screwed up early in the game. The key to doing this is to not screw up early. That is, that's so big because later it's just really tough. And I have yet to master, like, Han Solo stage and stuff. You really gotta get past all these stages really getting no harm done. Like, they really cost you. If you, uh... Get killed on anything dumb here. Really gotta step it up here. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna get it done. I just don't know when. Tough game. I like it a lot though. This is a really solid uh, Star Wars game, and I've I've always kind of thought that um, ever since I watched AVGN, and I always thought like when he played it, obviously he was trashing it, and I totally get the whole idea. Of trashing it and stuff like that. But I'll be honest with you. I always felt like it looked decent. <laughs> I'd watch him play it and be like, man, it actually looks pretty fun. I don't know, because i seen that it was a pretty simple concept of, like, getting hit once. And, you know, you got to use the lightsaber and all the characters and stuff. I was like, I don't know, it looks decent. At least it has everything in it, you know. I always thought it, I thought, I always thought it looked fun. And it, it definitely is. But it takes a ton of trial and error. Um, you gotta learn the game a lot. And then you gotta actually do it. And on Pro, it's definitely a lot harder. I did beat it on Novice, but I didn't want my final playthrough to be on Novice. So, I used Novice as like a learning tool to kind of know like there's some, there's some levels that have um, like mazes, like the Death Star. And I was using those. To uh, just learn those stages. So I know where my path is. And then when I play it on pro. Where it's actually like more bad guys. And more stuff to dodge. And stuff like that. Then I would at least have my path down. That was the whole strategy behind that. Because I just had a feeling there was going to be levels where it's like, okay, where the hell am I supposed to go? Really, there was only one level with a really big maze, and that was the Death Star. Chewy stage a little bit. I had to figure it out. It was, that was a little tough. It was easy to find the boss, but I didn't understand where Chewy was. So that took a little bit of getting used to, because a door opens up once you kill the boss. 
I sure as hell don't tell you that. So hopefully I can get this done. As much as I'm having fun with the game, I am ready for it to be done. Move on to something else. I do love the game, though. It's a lot of fun, dude. Definitely... <sighs> Holy cow. Let's stop. Yeah, let's forget about it. Kill somebody else. Um, is it my favorite... Star Wars game? I would say on the NES, absolutely. But... But I, I would say Super Star Wars and Return of the Jedi on Super Nintendo make it really tough for me to say. Because those are I remember those being really good. I don't know why, but I think I remember uh, Star Wars for the Super Nintendo. Super Star Wars, the first one, being like my favorite. Kind of the one with the best challenge. It's a real fair... I guess I had the most fun with it. But I'd have to almost like replay them. Sometimes you gotta do that because it's just been a long time since I've played it. This guy can be a little tricky. Say so one time I jumped and I actually got hit by that guy. So I try to be more careful now. Not try to rush. Sometimes I get I just get to where I want to get to the end again and stuff and try again on the stuff that's actually difficult. And then I kind of screw myself by hurrying. So I try not to do that anymore. Ooh, that was close. Shinobi won. I don't know. A lot of people, I think, have a problem with this game. Because it doesn't necessarily follow the movie very well. But I just think that kind of stuff is a little, like, overrated. Like, it doesn't need to do exactly what the movie did. If it's fun, it's a video game. And it's using all the characters and 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 following the movie to a certain point. Like, I think it's fine. It doesn't need to follow this movie scene by scene. You know, I don't... I personally don't think that's necessary. I really don't. I think what they did was totally fine. It's a little goofy for sure, but like, it's a video game. It's just, this is how things were. You know, I don't know, it doesn't bother me. It's fun. I mean, these scenes coming up, these are awesome. First of all, the cutscenes alone, pretty good. Music's good. Um, the flying scenes are freaking awesome. The trench is awesome. And just overall, like, the levels, they're pretty cool. They did a kind of a, a little bit of everything. They have a water level, they have a desert level, snow level. I mean, and they have, like, a woodland level, you know. They, they kind of covered all the tracks. They have, obviously, the Death Star. They kind of did everything you needed to do. But I think the premise behind fighting Darth Vader, all these different Darth Vaders or whatever it is all the time, I, I think that's just because Darth Vader, when this movie came out, was just a popular character. And, and when people were playing with the toys and everything, they wanted to fight Darth Vader, man. It was all about being Darth Vader. You know, he was one of the most popular people. You know? So I think that's all it was. They just wanted to let, put him in the game. Because if they followed the movie, Darth wouldn't be in it very much, man. I mean, he honestly wouldn't. Darth was still kind of like this... You know... This character you didn't know a lot about yet. You just knew he was like the bad guy, and he built this Death Star, this freaking... You know, mach uh, machine or whatever, and, and that was about it. You didn't, you didn't know much about him, dude. You know, so... 
I think that's all it was. They were just trying to... Oh, crap. They were just trying to make it fun. I, I think that, that was the thing behind it. It's like, you know, let's not stick to the movie so much. Let's let's have fun with these characters. And then it's just like a lightsaber. Oh, does, does Luke use a lightsaber a lot in this game? Matter of fact, I don't think in the first one he even used the lightsaber at all. I don't think so, dude. I don't think he used the lightsaber at all in New Hope. So that that's what I'm saying is I think I think they were just trying to have fun with it, you know. Like let's just make this game that's just fun to play. I think I think that's all it was. And let's use all the things that like people want to use. Oh, the, the big thing was having a lightsaber, dude. I mean, they wanted to, okay. Let's let's let the kids have a lightsaber, you know, and be Luke, you know, and. Do all the things that you want to do. That's I think that's all it was. And I think they accomplished it. You know, it was fun, dude. Fighting with the lightsaber all the time. The hit detection definitely can be an issue in this game. Just like the difficulty, for sure. But, you know, to be fair, they made the novice version and everything, you know? So, if kids were having trouble or something, you could turn on easy, you know, and the easy mode was there. And the easy mode is definitely a lot more full of empty levels and not so crucial, you know? So, they, they gave you that. But overall, it's just a game that takes a lot of trial and error. You know, it is tough, but the tough thing about it is the trial and error. That's, that's what it is. You gotta keep wanting to play it. But it, I, I think it does enough to keep bringing you back, though. I think it's good. I think it makes it fun. I kept wanting to come home and play it and stuff, and I was excited to try to beat it. It's definitely gonna be a good accomplishment. But even, like, beating, uh... Even beating Novice was a good accomplishment, I felt. I was happy with it. That was, that was not that easy, and it was fun, you know? I just wanted to be my final playthrough, though. I wanted to beat Umpro. I do feel like that's the way you're supposed to beat it. Novice was to prepare you for this. So that's kind of why I personally wanted to do it. But, you know, people can do things however they want. I see most YouTubers online to beat on Novice. And fair enough. I just, I wanted to do pro. I don't always go for hard mode in games. Like, I don't have to play on the hard mode to feel good about it. But, like, this one, I just felt like I should. You know? I don't know why. I just did. God damn it, Daniel. You're a fucking idiot, dude. I rushed it. I played it like I would on easy, dude. I'm supposed to go like this. That's my own fault, dude. That's an early death, too. We still gotta beat, what, Chewie's stage after this? That's an early death. Brutal. Not good, dude, to be honest. I'm not gonna reset. Because I do feel like that's kind of harsh to reset right now. But... The good news is, I know how to beat this Darth Vader now. without dying and this this one's key this is the one that used to take tons of lives from me and then I should be able to uh, beat the grizzly bear in Chewbacca's stage pretty easily too the hardest boss and the biggest the biggest problem here is going to be at the end of Han Solo's stage right before the end you fight that final Darth Vader That's that's the biggest issue by far. That Darth Vader that shoots the lasers and shit, that's fucking hard, dude. To know when he's gonna shoot is just tough. You Essentially, you gotta get lucky. I mean, it really is kind of like that. Not not all luck, but, dude, it's, it's kind of that way.
Oh shit, I forgot about that. Oh, well, I'd rather be safe. It's fine. I think I actually died there last time I played. Here's where I usually grind. So now I gotta do this. I can do that. Let me try. Hold on. I don't know if it'd be a good idea, but make it to where I don't have to do it as many times. Ah, that's, that's sketchy. If you stand up and hit those, you're dead. Biggest thing is definitely just fall down onto this ladder. Yeah. A lot of tough jumps coming up. Uh, Chewbacca stage, definitely. And then I'm telling you, Han Solo stage. If you, if you can just get past Han Solo stage doing well, only lose like a couple lives or something, I mean, that's what you need to do. Gotta pull that off. But that is fucking easier said than done. Even the spot where you go to save Han, I mean, it's rough, dude. There's a lot of really fucking tough jumps, dude. Fuck up one of them, you gotta use more force. If you gotta use more force, this makes things really fucking difficult. Dying early right there really, unfortunately can really be the difference. It really can. I, I swear last uh, playthrough I got pretty far that if I would have had one more life, probably would have beat it. You know, it's like literally that that close. And it all came down to losing stupid lives. Losing on dumb parts. That's, that's what fucking happened. But we'll get her down here. Hopefully. Tell you what, though, all these Star Wars games, you want a challenge. All these Star Wars games are all pretty tough, dude. Pretty much. All the Super Nintendo, nothing's really that easy. They're all, they're all gonna challenge you, that's for sure. So if you're ever looking for a fucking challenge, and you like Star Wars, you can definitely uh, look no further than play these games. That's for sure. Even the NES one. Real tough. I mean, that Empire Strikes Back looks awful. That's probably one of the only ones I haven't played. But that one just... I don't I don't want to play that one. It looks terrible, dude. Just does. It looks poor. Pretty cool, only had to use my force once. Sometimes you gotta use it twice. That'll save me. Alright, first big can be tough level here, dude. But really you should be able to beat this level without dying, and that will be a big fucking deal. And we really, to be honest with you, with what happened at the Death Star, we really kinda need to. By the way, really good graphics for Nintendo. Like, being so young into the NES life to do this, it's pretty impressive. Controls well, sounds well. It's a really, it's a really good segment of the game every single time. Makes sense, you know? It makes sense within the game. All that stuff. First, I was going to say, that's your first test right there. I going to say, here we should just stop even taking a chance, because I do this anyways. And we always do that. Like, I always sit there and, and I try to make that jump without doing that, and it's like, why? Why when I float anyways? You know what I mean? So I like getting this so that I can bypass all this stuff. Because that part can be sketchy. I like doing this. You can continue to have the thing there, but I don't like to. Because, you know, when you're killing enemies, you can also collect more force pieces. That's important to have that. 
This part is tough, though, because you have some jet. Some jet guys that can be a fucking problem, that's for sure. Like that. With the hitbox of the lightsaber, you definitely have to fucking be on point with that shit. But yeah, all those force pieces I just got definitely makes a difference because you need it coming up here. There's going to be some tough jumps going into the next area, dude. It's tough. This is where... The decider of the stages, for sure. Trying to go fight the boss here. Okay. Let's wait and do this. Okay. Do that. That's not good. I was gonna say, we gotta kill him, dude. Here we go. Gotta kinda hurry. Dude, I almost died. Okay, so this part is kinda sketchy. But I'm glad I got on the ladder. That is very important, dude. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay. Alright. So we we did really well. Now now we need to beat this motherfucker, dude. Without dying. That's the next part. This is the grizzly bear part. Or the Yeti. Whatever you want to call them. This is an important fight here to not get killed. We're doing my strategy. Some people jump under him. I do not like to do that. Got him, dude. Huge. So now here's another big part of this stage. And that is having to go down here and grind. Because I used to grind these right here, those little logos up there, the little suns. But with that flame, it's not a good idea, dude. So you gotta go down here. I gotta get to the next door over there, which is easy. And there's stormtroopers, and it's way easier. But the problem is jumping back up here when I have to come back. That's a fucking problem, dude. It's not that easy. You can easily die. And you can't really use your force to float you up there. It's not a good idea. Because you need it for Han Solo's stage. It's really important. So I really need to get past that room right there without using force. And that's rough, dude. So I could have a stupid death. And if I do, it'll suck. Because I really need to make up for dying in the... In the Death Star. I really do. I should have an NDR going right now, and I was hoping to go into Han Solo stage with an NDR. That's really how the kind of position I need to be in to make this successful for sure. So I can get through that whole stage, which I'm sure I'm going to lose some lives, because I still don't know it by heart yet, and then have enough lives for the trench run, just because I will die a little bit in the trench run. I had a really bad death in the trench run, though, too. A really bad death. Where I almost, like, double died. And what it does is it brings your ship back, and you respawn. And I was in... I, like, I didn't focus on getting out of the thing. I thought I had some invincibility time, like, as you, like, come back, you know? And it fucking killed me, dude, like, immediately. So that was, that was another big thing to that run. Where I kind of shit the bed was letting that happen like I shouldn't have lost that life and I would have had another life and I might have been able to pull it off because there's six checkpoints 
on the trench run, and I had two more. And I was going, man. And at the last checkpoint, all it is is basically like a fucking straightaway, dude. That's all it is. It's easy. But. Yeah, it was my own fault. So hopefully I can pull this off, man. This room right here, coming up, man, is, is big. And then Han Solo stage, if we can get into the temple without dying, that's huge, man. Is in the temple, I just don't know it good yet, dude. I just don't. So it's gonna be rough. Oh, Alright, here we go. I believe that's it. Yep. Alright, here we go. Yes, did it, dude. Alright, now, hold on. I'm gonna say, let's not fall down. There we go. It's because we gotta use it here. Well, no, we don't. We gotta get there first. That's right. I almost thought too much there, dude. I almost blew that. I know you guys don't think so, but I, I almost blew that right there, dude. Because now you go up here. It's important to do that. And we beat Chewy Stage without freaking dying. That's huge. Now we're at Han Solo's, dude. And then it's the trench run. I mean, that's huge. It really is. That's huge. Gigantic to beat that level without dying. That kind of that kind of pays for what happened in the Death Star. I mean, it still doesn't make it to where it didn't happen, for sure. But, like, it helps. Usually in Chewy stage, I die, man. I'm telling you, though, that just goes to show you in the Death Star how fucking silly it was to die there on that stupid bullshit. I should have full lives right now, you know? That's that's upsetting, you know? <laughs> A lot of ships at this time in the game. Jeez. There we go. All right. Here we go. Here's the big level right here, man. Let's see what happens. Got to kill these enemies and get our fucking force up. No stupid deaths here, dude. Got to make everything count. So we're at 82 force right now. Uh, let's be smart here. Say again, we're thinking too much. We need to just play our game here. I'm thinking way too much. Something that's very simple, I'm making it way too difficult. Little B, okay? death there guys now I now I almost got to make that up going forward so I have like essentially six lives I got 99 force right now so I don't need to kill everything that was brutal though absolutely brutal I mean it's stuff like that that makes all the difference in the game that's that's what's frustrating it's just that's huge Really huge. All right, here I don't usually use force. I've been doing that. So again, we're full here. So now here's the big spot where you go save Han, right here. Now this is huge with these jumps. We only want to use force once. But you got to make these jumps, dudes. And I did. I think I'm good. I gotta hurry here. Get the blaster. Come up here. Alright. That's not bad. 
So we need to get to the temple now. Without dying. We have the blaster, so that's what's good. So again, we need to get force. As we just used it in the floating part. Now here's where it's key. Because you got these idiots that like to come here. And I forget where exactly they're at. Got them. I'm going to say I don't want to use my jump yet. I have to here, I think. I think I do here. I think I have to use it. Okay. Okay. It's okay. We already have a blaster. Okay. I'm going to say here I can make it just fine. Okay. Here I have to float. There is a way to use the jumping thing, but you got to jump all the way there. And I feel like with that bat, that it's not a good idea. It's just not a good idea to risk that. My opinion. Here is where we're starting to get to the opening of the temple. We're still in the woods, though. But we're going to start seeing stormtroopers. So what we're going to do is, I thought about this last time, and the least expensive thing I can use is this. So what we're going to do is use that, and we're going to make a run for it. And if I have to use it again, I will. So I don't know how long it lasts. Okay. We're in, and we did not die. That's gigantic. Massive to not die there. Again, again, seeing how serious it was that we died so stupidly at the beginning. I should have six. See how stupid that is? There is an extra life coming up, though, that we should be able to snag. But you, but you see how dumb that is? That's why those stupid deaths really matter, dude. Because then you have to step it up at other spots. I think we are still doing that, which is good. But... Under understanding how how that is, how it matters. I don't think there's any more jetpack ones. I think we're good. Having the blaster right now really helps, because when you die, you have just the saber, and it's a lot harder with the saber. It's way fucking harder with the lightsaber, dude. Yeah, not ha having the blaster right now makes all the difference. I'm not really used to having that right now. So if you understand the difference here. Especially that. Being able to do being able to shoot these is huge. Whoa, dude, I didn't even fucking see that, guys. I just dodged that off of like luck basically. Yeah, shooting these is awesome, too, because I'm getting free. I'm getting free uh, force pieces that I'm not used to having, because I did not get those last time. Let's say again. This is a lot easier with the blaster, I'm telling you. This is, like, so easy with the blaster. <laughs> it was not this easy last time, I'm telling you. Can't get that headshot? I don't think so. So obviously we're not fucking going that way. We have 85, dude. We're doing solid. Okay, this is the part with the extra life, I think. Let's try to get this. Let's say everything matters, dude. 
everything matters. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use it again. Because I think the extra life is like right fucking here, yeah. That's what I thought, dude. Fuck it. We're going to use it again, dude. It saves us. I had to make that jump last time. So, dudes, we are at fucking Vader. This is huge. So, you gotta hit him and use Obi. But now he turns into a fucking asshole right here, dude. And he's shooting the laser. This is the hardest fight right here. No way. No way. I mean, holy cow, I've never beaten him without dying. <laughs> we got six lives, don't we? Guys, we're going to beat this. I don't I don't think there's a way in hell I lose this. I ain't even going to lie to you. I had two really stupid deaths. So arguably, I could have an NDR going on right now, going into the trench. If it wasn't for my stupidity of just those couple of dumb deaths. Wow. I could easily have an NDR. Showing you that definitely an NDR is possible. <laughs> Absolutely. There's going to be a lot of TIE fighters here, though. Man, I can't believe I beat up Vader that bad. He got owned, dude. Oh, here we go. There's a trench run. Man, holy cow. So I remember stay to the left, because I remember last time there was a fucking dead end. So I like to shoot where I keep it at a speed about like this to shoot. And you gotta get these little T's for more time. Sometimes there's extra lives, and that's huge. So I do gotta look at my ship like I do in shooters sometimes. There's an extra life right there. I just snagged it. Six. See all the checkpoints? You gotta get all the way up there. Oh, shit. I didn't want to be this way, but I, it's not. The dead end isn't here yet. Shit. Yeah, you gotta try to haul ass, though. See, I think the dead end is on the left, uh, right. Holy crap, I just dodged that lucky as fuck. Ain't gonna lie. That's alright. Nope, that was a dead end right fucking there. Another one right there. Holy shit. Got that time, I think. Three. Damn, there was an extra life there I fucking missed, too. Two. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. How the fuck I didn't get hit there is beyond me. That I did. I did not dodge that motherfucker, though. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. I think this is just the straightaway, guys. I did terrible on this trench run, though. I ain't got to lie to you. Dude, I beat it, I think, guys. That's it, dudes. That's it. We fucking beat it on pro. Bam. Dude. What's that mean? I'm going to have to ask Jacob what that means. He did it, dude. 
I did terrible on that trench run, though, dude. I lose like seven lives. I was trying to hurry too much. Looking at the time at the end, I had plenty of time, dude. I had like 20 seconds at the end. I went way too fast. I was thinking I had to haul ass. I was wondering if when they get their medals, it showed silver medals when I beat it on Novice. I was wondering if it's going to show gold. Curious. Because I think it goes back to them and they're wearing medals. Solid ending, too. I mean, that's what happens in the movie. I wonder what that said at the end, that pro mission. No, but it's still silver. I think it's the same. I think the ending's the exact same. I think. Nothing catches my eye. I thought maybe it'd be two gold medals on pro. I was wondering. Fuck yeah. We did it. I wonder what that was at the end, though. That really makes me wonder, because there's no passwords. So what was up with that? Because it had numbers and shit. That was weird. Hmm. Because I would think it probably gives you some kind of code to have fun with the game. <sighs> well, we did it. We can move on to other stuff now. Wow. What a, what a fun game. Tell you what, that was a brutal trench run, though. <laughs> oh, my God. That was bad. <laughs> That was brutal, man. I was nailing that shit. <laughs> For a second there, I had a little bit of hope of like, uh-oh. You know what I mean? Like, literally, I thought about that. I was like, oh, shit, dude. I'm, I'm kind of shit. I might lose this. You know what I mean? I think I had another life, though. I know it said one, but I think zero counts. So I really had two ships left. But <laughs> that was brutal. That was really bad. I just I just went too fast. That going going forward, knowing I have more time, I could have slowed down. One one house. Hell yeah. We beat Star Wars on the Famicom Pro Mission, maybe. But no difference, huh? Except for that little code. Hmm. I'll send it to Jacob and see what he has to say. But anyways, guys, thanks for hanging out. And that was awesome. Another game down.